Rooftop tents are great and everything, and don't get me wrong, they're very cool, but the truth is, if you've got a forerunner like this one, you can sleep inside of it, no problem. I think uh, with all the popularity of some of these really expensive setups that we see on Instagram and on YouTube and stuff like that, it kind of becomes the norm that you think you have to have all this equipment just to be able to camp out of your vehicle, but really it's one of the best parts about having an SUV like the forerunner. And today I'm going to show you a little trick that you can make a little bit more leg room in the back of your forerunner if you're going to be laying down back there, whether you're sleeping or you're at like the drive-in movies, whatever. It's free, it's super quick, and uh, you probably already know about it, but I'm going to show you anyways. So before we can get to all that, we need to free up some space back here. First things first, slide the cover off. We're actually going to be taking this right out. It just snaps in place. Obviously not easy to do with one hand, but I'll give you a bit of Swing this out, and we're going to just take this whole thing off. Now I'm going to rip out this rubber mat here. One hand, like an idiot, whatever. And I've lost a shoe. Okay, got my shoe back on. Um, if you have this kind of two-tier package tray setup, obviously you're going to want to drop this down flat with the floor. This position is going to be the flattest that you're going to get the rear of your forerunner here. Uh, now obviously we've got to fold the seats down. And for most people, just folding the seats down is going to be enough. Now this is pretty decent space back here as it is. And this is just the way that Toyota intended it. But if you can see, the bases of the rear seats flip forward. And that takes up a lot of useful room, really. Uh, if you're going to sleep back here with your head on the hatch side, that's all legroom that could potentially be available to you if those bases weren't there. So, that's the trick, is we're going to unbolt those and take those right out. And it's super easy, it's just a matter of taking out, I believe it's two bolts on each side, and you can rip that base right out. So it's just these two bolts on each of the seat backs. So you have the 60 side and then the 40 side here. Two bolts on each side, these are just 14 millimeter bolts and you can get at them with a socket. There's a plastic cap, if you can see. You can, if you want to, you can pry that plastic cap off there and get them from the front, or if you want to be lazy, just flip the whole seat forward like this and you can get at them with the cap still in place. But those just, these just snap on if you do want to remove them. So we're gonna pull these bolts out and then we can pull the, the seat bases out, super easy. Alright, there you have it guys, look at all that extra leg room. So you can just rip those bases out and then leave them at home. And if you want, you can fill up this space with coolers or something if you want to build that up. Um, but there's plenty of room in here now for like a twin air mattress if you want to get something like that for a more comfy sleeping experience. And if you check out the article that I put on my site, I actually went through Amazon and found a whole bunch of air mattresses that are the right dimensions that'll fit a 4th gen 4Runner like this. So I'll put a link below, make sure you check that out. Uh, but yeah, look at all this extra leg room now. Basically aside from the back of the console here, which is in the middle anyways, you've got all of this extra space that you can have your feet dangling, or again, like if you want to put a, a cooler or something there to build that up. Uh, but this is all perfectly flat, or at least close enough to flat. You can get real comfy back here. I'm six foot three, and I can fit back here no problem. Uh, with lots of room to spare and width wise you got plenty of room for you and a partner if you want um, Yeah, so there's there's no reason why you can't sleep comfortably in the back of a, one of these newer forerunners. I'm assuming the fifth gens are pretty much the same they might be a little bit different with the shape of the floors, but uh, At least this will work on the fourth gens There you have it guys just a quick little tip for you to be able to sleep more comfortably in the back of your forerunner uh, the only downside is that if you have a lot of gear with you when you're camping, clearly you're going to take up a lot of your cargo space by just sleeping back here. Uh, but you can always stash some stuff in the front seats. Uh, there's that new space where the seat base used to be. You can stick some stuff under there. Uh, there's always the, the luggage rack on top if you want to strap some stuff up there. Or even hiding some stuff below the vehicle. That's another option as well. But yeah, if you're ever in a pinch and uh, you don't have a tent or a rooftop tent or a trailer or something with you, this is a great way to have lots of room back here for whatever it is you get up to. Hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit, and uh, thanks for watching.
I'll catch you on the next one.